So it's going to be Kipper Cards today and Classic Tarot. And it'll just be an energy read. So I'd like to say, look out the window to see what the weather's like. So I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be the last in this kind of series of let's have some care for us. Uh, videos. So this is the uh, Kipper cards with uh, tarot reading on the, with classic tarot, and uh, I think you'll like it. So let's get right into it. So here we have the Fin de Sicla Kipper card, Kippers. These are little fortune telling cards. They're German uh, in origin, and Fin de Sicla is literally uh, end of the century. Kipper being the spirit of the cards. So they come in a nice little box. It's really uh, substantial and a, a nice little keepsake. You feel like you know that's a special gift. The booklet that it comes with is, is actually very interesting. It's got quite a bit de dedicated to how uh, these particular this particular uh, interpretation of the cards came to be. And it was a, a meeting in Germany. Someone was presented with an original set of German uh, uh, printed uh, cards where the language uh, was actually in German. And then they decided in 2015 to reinterpret them in sort of a modern sense, but with an old age feel. So it's a nice book. It's interesting to read, and the cards are pretty special. Um, there's only, how many is it? 36, I believe, of these cards in here. And so they can be used for complete fortune telling or just to, um, you know, do a little energy read, which is how I'm going to use them today. You can see them, that they're beautiful. I mean, they're full of color. They're very rich. They go from... Uh, frame to the end of the frame in a nice pleasing way and they're easy to handle they're small cards or something that you can keep uh, in a small bag or in a lady's purse or a fellow's you can throw it in your coat pocket if you wanted to and so they're easy to carry around maybe use on a train or during a commute or if you're taking a plane trip and i like to spread them around like this because not everybody gets to see all the cards when they're used you just see kind of the few that are dealt out during the reading so this way you get a better chance to review them kipper cards i love them so this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, a uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon. If you pull the book out, it then it double, does double duty to help get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the right away system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I like to spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you run across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot and I like them a lot. So I thought what I'd do today is start out with the kippers and just draw, let's say maybe three of these cards to kind of set the tone for how the rest of this reading will be and that'll be a full uh, Celtic cross with those uh, classic um, tarot cards. These are so beautiful. I love using them and I don't use them often enough really, um, but they're nice. So let's get a feeling for today, Kipper cards. Let's have three cards that'll give, a, give us a message to help us out this day. I like to think of this as kind of like looking out the window and to see what the weather's like. Say, say, oh, what am I gonna, what jacket wants to up on today? Do I need a hat? Should I take an umbrella? 
and uh, do I need my wellies? Uh, so that's how we'll think of these, these cards. Just going to take three. This will be one, two, and three. So this is just for you today. The first card is the courthouse. Okay, so what is a courthouse? And, you know, I just I use an intuitive um, method of, of dividing these cards. I haven't studied the meanings in the uh, booklet to see how they're attributed. But these cards are, are uh, designed as such so that you can just kind of look at them and come up with a reasonable uh, meaning for them. And, of course, once you've synced your, your mind into the session, hopefully, oh, that's good enough. So the courthouse cards, so what does this talk to us? These are rules. This is law. This is getting things in order. And uh, so this is kind of what this brings to mind to me, this courthouse, is that we want to make sure that we're um, paying attention to the structure of the, the way uh, this day pans out. And it could literally be some sort of a legal proceeding. The number two card, then, is bad health. Okay, So we can see this as knowing that this is a time when we should make sure that we take a rest, that we give ourselves all the time uh, that's necessary to um, to recuperate from any sort of an ill feeling, or uh, uh, it could even just be a bruised ego uh, that, or a disappointment. But uh, let's uh, take care of our good health. And then the final card for today is false person. You know, this is always a caution. You want to make sure that the people you're dealing with are who you think they are. And how are you presenting yourself, too? Because so many times the person that we greet others with as ourselves uh, isn't, uh, you know, the, the actual uh, core person that we are. Sometimes there's a little gloss that wears off after you get to know us for a while. But those are the three cards for today's sort of journey uh, to keep in mind. Uh, look at the rules, take care of yourself, and, um, you know, make an effort to present yourself and to see others as they really are. Okay, so now we'll get some cards for this full Celtic cross for an energy reading for you today. What do the cards have for us to um, sort of know how to uh, proceed uh, today? And um, what do we need to look out for? What can be helpful in setting up our future? Uh, are there, is there anything that we need to shed uh, to make this journey a little easier? Full Celtic Cross, and we'll see what is in store for us and how these Kipper cards might relate today. Six cards to begin with. So this will be up and like that. One, two, three, four, five, right over here, number six. Scoop these back up and put them off to the side for this moment. We'll see uh, what we have as a signifier in the first part of this full Celtic cross. I'm just going to try to make some room for everything here. Signifier card for us today is the Nine of Pentacles. And so the Nine of Pentacles makes us think about, you know, really having everything that we need. And uh, sometimes we may not even feel like we're so uh, blessed to have, uh, you know, such a bounty. But if you look around and you kind of compare yourself with some others around, you may find that you've got even more than is necessary. There may be enough here that you can uh, give off uh, to someone else. Okay, so that's the signifier of this reading. The uh, challenge to that, though, is the Eight of Cups, walking away from something of value. You know, as a matter of fact, when uh, we uh, look at that, when we think about doing something like this, it's hard sometimes to give up some of the personal value that we, th we feel like we have. Um, but uh, that's part of the journey. So having uh, an abundance is challenged by uh, knowing when to maybe walk away from some of that. The basis of this, of this reading is the Five of Wands, argy-bargy, pointless bickering, uh, confusion, um, obstacles, um, and hurt feelings. So that's at the base of this reading. And uh, so I would say that if that's what we're coming into this day with, let's recognize it and uh, see if we can't uh, put it behind us. Because why? Because in the past this reading we have strength. And uh, any time that we can show that we're bigger than the situation that we're uh, dealing with, um, it, it gives us strength. And when, once you have strength, that's something you can even share. The sky of this reading is the Six of Wands victory. It's like what I said. Once you conquer uh, the, the uh, abundance that you have, recognize your weaknesses, it, it builds up your strength, and now you have something, some victory that you can uh, uh, will, will even be obvious to the people around you your worth. 
the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this is, a, is an action, a great big offer of let's get something done. Let's move this along. And so, sure, some little uh, tribute that uh, you uh, put forward to someone else, okay, uh, could make a big difference in a difficulty, gives uh, uh, exudes strength, uh, and uh, that's always a victory. And uh, so let's see what uh, we have that we can use to make something happen. The last four parts of this for you today will be the bottom of this reading and we'll take first card the self so death this is the end of a cycle let's uh, see to it that we um, and where did we have a uh, bad health right here let's put an end to um, the cycle of repetition of um, lingering and uh, start something new every time there's an end there's a new beginning the uh, environment that's in them is going to be the nine of cups and so we're right back to this plenty you know this is the greedy merchant this is showing all the emotional value that you have you're, you're proud to display it but if you're going to display your 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 value like this then you better be uh ready to share some of that uh, what you can't take it with you so you might as well uh, see what good you can uh, make happen the hopes and the fears of this it's going to be the hermit. Okay, so this is a time for introspection, uh, looking at the path ahead, making sure you've got your plan firmly in your hand, and uh, that each step that you take is a, is a, a step well placed, a foot put in the right position. And then the uh, likely outcome of this, then look at that. Of course, it's the Four of Wands. It's celebrations. And we started out with the strength of celebrations here, and we're going to end up, small celebrations, I like to say, are those on the way to something bigger. So... That's what we have there. And if we look at this and just let these Kipper cards highlight us, maybe uh, this brings us to uh, a more complete uh, picture of how we can get through our day. So yeah, that was a nice reading. So we started out with the Nine of Pentacles, really having an abundance, everything that we need and more. We've got something we can share here. And it's challenged by, of course, we, you know, walking away from some of that uh, uh, value that we have uh, can be very emotional and di difficult to do, but let's recognize that we may have more to give than we think. Uh, the conflict uh, that we feel or that others feel uh, can uh, be eased by our generosity or could be the reason that we come to the point uh, that we think, ah, maybe let me do this and uh, make all this uh, go away. And it's backed up in the past by the strength card. And uh, that's what we get when we start to share our wealth. In the sky, this reading is the Six of Wands, which is celebrations. And that's what we should be shooting for, to make sure that we're ha having a celebration. We're going to be noticed for that along the way, and we can bring people with us. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of that diet across was the Ace of Wands. Just get a plan behind you and get moving. The self was death, which is the end of a cycle, which makes way for the start of something new. Challenged by the Greedy Merchant, the Ninety Cups, having plenty to display, lots of emotional value as trophies. And uh, when you're going to display your uh, trophies like that, you better expect that you need to uh, give some away. Um, the likely outcome, or the hopes and the fears, is that uh, as a hermit, as a wise man, we pl plot our course carefully and we uh, take action to move forward with a good foot. And then, because then, we'll take us to a satisfying end, uh, small celebrations on the way to something bigger later on. And those three keeper cards that we started out with, which were uh, the uh, court, uh, courthouse, so that's rules and law, bad health, taking care of ourselves, and then false persons recognize those around you for who they are and recognize yourself for how you presented yourself. That's what I got. How's it for you? So I hope that had something in there for you. Um, think about it. Um, maybe mull it over in your head. Look at it tomorrow. Think about other people that are important to you. See if this applies to them. Or maybe it doesn't ring true for you at all. And that's fine. Just set it aside and move, move on. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.